While a special unit of the Mobile County Sheriff's Office continues to fight crime in Pritchard and elsewhere in the county, and a couple of recent operations yielded some pretty impressive results. One was a search warrant that turned up drugs and guns. The other, an arrest deputies made after a brief chase that ended with a crash. Our Brendan Kirby in the studio with more on this. And Brendan and Sheriff Paul Birch put this unit together, and you talked to him today about it. Yeah, I did, Byron and Lenise. He says this is evidence that that unit that was started with so much fanfare over the summer continues to bear fruit, and he says he'll continue to target crime both in Pritchard and elsewhere in the county. Mobile County Sheriff's deputies got tips this month about drug dealers operating out of an abandoned apartment on a dead-end street in Pritchard. Sheriff Paul Birch says investigators witnessed drug transactions and saw men with guns standing guard. Sadly, we had to watch several vehicles drive away with what we knew there were drugs, but we didn't have the warrant for the house just yet. When deputies did get the warrant, they hit pay dirt, seizing a large amount of marijuana plus a number of AR-15 and SKS-type high-capacity guns and handguns. Sheriff Birch says that kind of weaponry is Exhibit A for people who criticize law enforcement agencies for going after marijuana traffickers. That's why we go after those who are distributing marijuana, for those who say, you know, it's, it's a nonviolent type case. I mean, look at all the guns, that, illegal guns that were seized from criminals who have an extensive violent criminal history. The other recent operation resulted in the arrest of a pair of ex-cons after a car chase. Deputies say they'd been on to Marlos Parish and got an anonymous tip that he was in a white Honda Odyssey with drugs. He and a passenger sped away from Main Street and Wasson Avenue in Pritchard, reaching speeds of 80 miles per hour, according to court records. The Honda ended up colliding with another vehicle. You know, both of them threw book bags out of the uh, vehicle during the, during the chase, and, which were recovered and, and you know, had the drugs in it. Those drugs included marijuana and more than 200 grams of fentanyl, a deadly amount that would trigger mandatory life prison sentences for the defendants if convicted. Parrish and his passenger, Robert Bradley, were both on parole. Both have histories uh, and you know, drug histories. And what, what we've seen in a lot of these cases is, you know, people who are involved in, in drug sales, regardless of how many times they get arrested or how many times they go to prison, they don't stop. As I mentioned, Parrish and Bradley both were on parole when deputies arrested him last week. As a result, a judge today denied bail. They're due back in court tomorrow for their arraignments. As for that search warrant, the sheriff says he can't reveal many details about the people who are inside the building, but he says that one suspect, one of them is a suspect in a recent Pritchard homicide. Reporting live in the studio, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News.